Pertubuhan Kesihatan Sedunia WHO mengeluarkan amaran COVID-19 tidak akan hilang dan penduduk dunia perlu terima hakikat dan belajar hidup dengannya. Shaken by the new of pandemic COVID-19 attack on people all over the world, this has affected in terms of global factor, namely in in terms of economic, political, and COVID-19 has been around in the world since in inception in a December 2019, and a total of 3.4 million cases involving over 242,000 that have been reported worldwide. In Malaysia, 4,530 has been reported with total of 73. A very scary figure that happened in a short period of time. It it has also had an impact on student learning in the country. Today, I and the member this group interview about the effect of pandemic COVID-19 in education. Assalamualaikum. Me from student UMT. I want to introduce you first. Can you introduce about yourself first? Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Muhammad Hafiz bin Muhammad Adli. I'm from Bagan Serai Perak and now I'm studying at USM. I'm second year student for Arts and Education. Go first to the question. Okay, as you know, the increase in a COVID-19 is the country is increasing. COVID-19 has affected the education of some students in this country of Malaysia. So, as a student in USM, how about the COVID-19 can impact your education? Yes, I agree. COVID-19 has give a bad effect for me, and this is three reason I can provide uh, why COVID-19 has affect my education. Okay, first of all is uh, I feel a bit a little bit stress. Because uh, it is hard for me to find to find a primary sources such as books, journals for my subject. It is because all the sources only in the library, and now I cannot go to the USM library. So, uh, if I want to find it, I can find it on internet. But I need to pay it. Okay. The second reason is uh, I had an unconducive environment for me i'm more like to uh, face to face in the classes or hall for learning session it also give me a comfortable situation so it can help me to pay more attention on the lecture and the reason number 3 is limitation for sharing and discussion for me it is give us limitation to discuss or asking anything about our subject With our friends, it is because uh, in the campus we can meet each other to create a study group or uh, do a revision together. But now it is completely different because everyone stay far away at their own home. Okay, with this online learning, are you a student having a problem uh, running online class in a term of internet access? Okay, I'm as a student. Absolutely true. I am having problems running these online classes in terms of internet access. Yes, I know everyone doesn't have a good internet connection, but it is really give a problem to those who are cannot provide a good internet connection to get an effective learning session. They need to pay for data bills or maybe 
need to buy new gadget to support uh, these learning apps. This internet issue can make worse situation to students who are want to take uh, an online examination. If suddenly uh, their internet connection getting bad, it will affect their exam and also give a bad result for their exam. This is a crucial issues. Maybe uh, the authority like government can help us as a student uh, to provide a truly good internet connection for our learning. Thank you. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Hi and Assalamualaikum. If you don't mind, can I ask you a question about pandemic COVID-19? Before that, can you please introduce yourself first? Hi, Waalaikumsalam. I'm Atika and I'm a student from University of Malaya. Firstly, COVID-19 has been in Malaysia around a year and affect a lot of people. Based on your opinion, how this pandemic COVID-19 affect your daily life as a student? Uh, firstly, I cannot go to my university. Secondly, I cannot meet my friends. I already miss them so much but I cannot go to see them. As a student, how do you feel about online class? Just one word. Frustrated. Why? Uh, because if you see, when you have a big family in your house, you have uh, more siblings, right? like younger siblings, older siblings. Uh, so when you want to do an online classes, if you want to take it, this is a lot of noise everywhere. So it disturbs me a lot. So I think it's distract uh, me to do the online class. I am Muhammad Imran Behamdan, would like to interview a student from the University of Malaysia in Tengganu. There is Nurul Najwa Fahanis from the course of Maritime Management on Learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. I have two questions to tell you. For the first question is, in your opinion, is this online learning method a more effective to replace face-to-face -face learning method? Can you give me some opinion? In my opinion, online learning method is not as effective as face-to-face -face learning because it has limited interaction. Usually, the lecturer will only face the student at a certain time. Therefore, the role of lecturers to deliver lessons will be more challenging. Minimal interaction with classmates will also complicate the process of sharing ideas and information with each other. So, learning using face-to-face -face communication is still considered more effective. Very interesting. With the answer to the first question, I would like to continue with the second question is in this situation of COVID-19 pandemic, our student must through online learning. What benefit you get from this online learning? The benefit that students get from online learning is self cost. The cost of education for those who study and stay at university is very high compared to those who study online at home. Usually, students staying at university have to pay additional fees such as college rental fees. Therefore, online learning can save student costs. Besides, online learning is more flexible. Students have the freedom and flexibility to choose the time and way of learning. Therefore, Students are free to plan learning without interrupting daily routines. As a conclusion, this pandemic affects us a lot. So we as a citizen need to follow instructions from government such as wear a mask, sanitize our hand and keep our social distancing at least one meter from each other. This is how we can cope COVID-19 together. Thank you. That's all from me, Nurul Najibah binti Awang Kechi and my two other partner, Muhammad Azhar bin Marzuki and Muhammad Imran bin Hamdan, reporting for ESC Dokumentari. Just stay at home.